Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube the general. Welcome to Top Attack. On my take for today is on the real reasons why Kawhi Leonard left Jordan Brand for New Balance. We'll take a look at the initial fallout between Kawhi and Jordan Brand and the reports that surfaced during the 2019 finals that he was suing Nike due to rights over his claw logo. Simple fact of the matter is, there's a lot of messed up stuff that went on here, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned to find out how it all went down. First off, I'm gonna continue pushing this to y'all. Go follow me on Instagram, at Josh Carson JC3. Behind the scenes looks on there and other basketball related content. Big announcement is coming soon on there and right here on YouTube as well. Well, secondly, I can't see the live chat from my last finals live stream, but shout out to the person who mentioned today's video idea to me. You know who you are. Finally, this video officially kicks off my summer series of videos. The goal is weekly drops with really interesting content, so just do it. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, all that good stuff so you don't miss out, and let's get going. This is New Balance's story. Well, actually, it's his story. That's right, Kawhi's that fun guy. The name is Leonard, Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> So, right about now, you're probably wondering how he got here. Well, boom, baby. It started with a fallout with Jordan Brand in the summer of 2018. Kawhi was looking to ink a new deal with the Nike subsidiary, was close to doing so to the tune of four years for 20 plus million dollars. At the last minute though, contract negotiations broke down as Leonard's reps felt Jordan's offer wasn't representative of his standing as one of the top players in the NBA. Keep in mind, these negotiations were taking place after 2018 season, in which Leonard played in only nine games while battling a quad injury that none of us will probably ever figure out what the heck happened there with the Spurs team doctors, Kawhi's personal doctors, Spurs team doctors, Kawhi's personal doctors, Spurs team doctors. Anyway, the point is that the Jordan contract could have looked much different, say Kawhi had his 2019 season and finals victory just a year ago in 2018 when the negotiations were going on. Compared to other top tier players such as LeBron who makes more than 20 million annually from Nike and KD who makes around that 20 million dollar a year mark in his deal, it is understandable that Leonard and his reps may have felt just a little bit slighted by Jordan Brand's offer, you think? Plus, Jordan did not offer Leonard a signature shoe as part of his new contract, while other active athletes with the brand such as Russell Westbrook and Chris Paul have their own signature models. And thus, the perfect marriage of Times New Roman font and Kawhi Leonard was made when he signed a deal in late November 2018 with New Balance. According to Nick DiPaola, New Balance offered significantly more than $5 million per season, an amount that would put Leonard among the top 15 shoe endorsement deal earners in the league. On June 3rd, 2019, which was during the finals, Kawhi filed a lawsuit against Nike claiming that they essentially stole the rights to his claw logo, one that he himself authored early in his career. Contained within this nine page lawsuit is how in late December 2011 or January 2012, Leonard refined a logo he had been creating for several years that encompassed his large and powerful hands, his initials, and his jersey number. He allowed Nike to use the logo upon signing his initial endorsement deal with the company and continued using the logo on non-Nike goods. Now unbeknownst to him, Nike filed an application for copyright registration of his logo and falsely represented in the application that Nike had authored the logo. Nike believes they own all the rights to the logo and won't allow Leonard to use it in his New Balance line. Kawhi did in fact respond to a question on this during finals media availability saying, it happened a long time ago, you guys are just finding out, not a big worry of mine. Considering that this has been a long-standing issue, it is another contributor to why Leonard left Jordan Brand. So to wrap up, why did he leave for New Balance? Well, besides the large contract as mentioned earlier, New Balance is the one brand that can market a personality like Kawhi Leonard and be successful due to simplicity. Their approach, present Kawhi as a no-nonsense, let your game speak for itself kind of player. From there, sit back and let the claw do the talking. Kawhi's first signature shoes that released with the brand were part of a two-way pack. The basketball model was called the Omni with a one in place of the I. The word Omni means all or every, so all in one was the suggested name. This name makes sense as Kawhi is described as a versatile all-in-one player that can both defend and score at will. These dropped after his game seven walk-off against Philly and instantly sold out. The resale on both shoes in this pack are well above retail, which is crazy considering, well, it's New Balance. The brand also dropped Fun Guy and Board Man Gets Paid shirts. The latter became notable due to Kawhi wearing it during the championship parade. Finally, New Balance dropped a championship two pack of shoes in throwback Raptors colors, both lifestyle and walking models that also sold out instantly and now resell for a premium. So how did he get here? Some mishaps by Nike turned into unforeseen successes for New Balance and Kawhi Leonard. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would you buy Kawhi's signature shoe or would the New Balance logo steer you in a different direction? Remember to subscribe, like, leave your feedback, comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle coming soon. JC3, out.